Hey guys, we're down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We flew down for the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, but also to take a sneak peek and first look at the E-Propulsion X40. As my channel grows, I've been blessed with some pretty cool opportunities and what's in this video is no exception. I was invited to a very intimate first look at E-Propulsion's all new X40 electric outboard just a few days before it was unveiled at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Special thanks to the folks at Tiny Boat Nation, Mac Boring, and E-Propulsion for having me down and allowing me to put this video together to give everyone a sneak peek at E-Propulsion's latest and largest output, electric outboard. In this video, I'm gonna introduce you to the E-Propulsion X40 and tell you everything that I know about it thus far. I'll also cover some things that I don't know because at this point, there's still some important information that E-Propulsion has yet to announce. We'll take a test spin on a 22-foot pontoon boat equipped with the X40, and I get to sit down with the co-founder and CEO of E-Propulsion Electric Outboards, Mr. Danny Tao, to talk shop and the future of electric boating. Let's get into it. Let's start with what we know about the X40 by covering some specs and details. This electric outboard is 40 kilowatts, hence the name, the X40. If compared or converted to horsepower, the X40 is equal to about 53 horsepower. The motor itself weighs 218 pounds and is 96 volts. It features power trim and tilt and an integrated electric steering system. For all my tiller lovers out there, I'm told the X40 will not be available in a tiller package. After driving the demo boat, I could see the effort E-Propulsion put into making the X40 a complete integrated drop-in package ideal for small console boats 20 foot plus. For those that are tech savvy, the X40 has some pretty awesome technology based features that are definitely worth mentioning. It has heading hold, which is a function that maintains the heading of the boat and position hold which is essentially what most guys with GPS trolling motors would know as spot lock. There's also ePropulsion Link, which is their version of an app, which gives you your boat's real-time status and provides advanced monitoring, reporting, and trip tracking functions. The days of the kids sneaking off the dock in the pontoon are long gone now that the X40 can send you notifications to your phone. One of the most impressive things about the X40 is how quiet it is. Here, take a listen. The X40's operation noise level is less than 73 decibels, which is actually less than a hair dryer and a few more decibels than taking a shower. Moving on to the battery, the 22-foot demo pontoon was equipped with four E-Propulsion G102 batteries. Battery tech can surely change down the road, but for now, it's safe to say that the G102 will be the pack of choice upon launch of the X40 outboard. So what do we know about the G102? It's a 96 volt lithium iron phosphate battery with a 10,240 watt hour capacity and a discharge current of 100 amps. The battery weighs in at 100 kilograms or 220 pounds each. So yes, over 800 pounds in battery weight, which is why I believe the X40 will be marketed at that 20 foot or more pontoon or boat with more storage space and ability to hold the extra weight. I don't think we'll see the X40 on my 14 foot John boat anytime soon. You can see that E-Propulsion has adopted the same battery terminal connectors used by Tesla. The G102 battery has been on the market and is currently available for purchase as it is the battery used on E-Propulsion's i-series inboard motors. Naturally, to keep things streamlined, at least for now, the G102 will also be used on the new X-Series outboards. The current MSRP on the G102 100 is about 5,500 bucks times four. But before the sticker shock on the batteries gets to you, let me compare to a couple other recognized brands within the marine industry. 
Elko, another popular electric outboard company in the US, offers an eight battery pack combo, giving you the same 400 amp hours at 96 volts for $23,600, about $1,600 more than a propulsion. I doubt that the BMSs would handle it, but in theory, you could take eight Dakota lithium 48 volt 96 amp hour batteries to get within the same ballpark of power supply and cost at about $21,000. So we could see that e-propulsion is definitely within the industry standard and competitive in cost for 400 amp hours at 96 volts within lithium iron phosphate battery packs. So what's the runtime and speed? We know that the electric outboard runtime is dependent upon your throttle input. The more power you draw, the faster speed you can go and the less runtime available per charge. E-Propulsion designed their 400 amp setup to give you one full hour of full throttle continuous runtime. The cool thing is the LED touchscreen display gives you real time diagnostics and trip expectations based on your power draw. You can see here in the demo boat, we were drawing three kilowatts of power, cruising the 22 foot pontoon with four guys at seven miles per hour. And with 90% battery, we had an estimated 11 and a half hours runtime at that speed. This will be perfect for cruising the lake and canals with the family all day long. What about the top speed? Well, top speed will vary based on the conditions and the boat. We were able to get the 22 foot North Star pontoon demo boat to 18 miles per hour. But what I got on camera is what counts, I suppose. So 16 miles per hour plus is what I got while filming some shots. I feel this is a respectable speed for a 22 foot pontoon boat with a bunch of guys on board. Also a comparable speed of what you'd expect from a gas outboard within the 40 to 50 horsepower range. Upon e-propulsion's in-house testing, they recorded speeds of 22 miles per hour plus on a 22 foot aluminum V-hull boat. Charging the batteries is as simple as plugging in an extension cord. The e-propulsion screen will tell you charge time, battery level, and current drawn for the charge. Charge times vary based on amps available and battery depletion. Speaking of which, the G102 batteries are rated for a whopping 3,000 charge cycles. We've covered a lot so far, but what do we not know? Well, number one is the cost. Of course, we can guesstimate, but ePropulsion has yet to formally announce a retail cost on the outboard package as we see it in this video. We know the batteries cost, but no cost yet on the outboard, display screen, or electric steering and throttle. Number two, we don't have a retail launch date yet. I know it will be next year sometime, and my guess is spring or summer, but ePropulsion has yet to announce a hard date. With that said, ePropulsion has come out recently and said they have more big announcements to come. I'll just say it, I think more outboards are on the way. Think about it, they went from a 9.9 .9 to a 50 plus horsepower equivalent, a 6 kilowatt to a 40 kilowatt. That's a huge void between sizes. It would make perfect sense to release an X15, a X20, or an X30, running the same 96 volt G102 battery packs, but perhaps half the packs is the X40, and hopefully throw a tiller in there somewhere on a smaller unit. Or maybe it's just wishful thinking on my end, because I know I'd like to see what something like that could do on my personal 14 foot aluminum boat. So, e-propulsion. If you come out with something smaller, I would love to try it on my boat here on the channel. Wink, wink. The boat used in this video is a 22 foot pontoon boat built by North Star Pontoons for St. Croix Watercraft. I'm pretty sure a version of this boat will be built by North Star featuring the E-Propulsion X40 package and be available for purchase. I'll leave North Star's info as well as E-Propulsion dealer information and links down in the video description. Next up, some of my thoughts upon testing the E-Propulsion X40 on the North Star pontoon, followed up by an interview with a man himself, Danny Tao. This thing is smooth. This thing is incredibly quiet. This is years in the making that they've been developing this product, and I'm here to tell you, based on using this out on the water, it's everything that they said it would be. Incredibly quiet, plug and play integrated system. I'm going to show you a few of the components and how this thing goes together. Of course, we've got the steering wheel that I've been raving about. This communicates with the outboard in the back via communication cable. It's one tiny little cable, 
but when you're steering the boat, you feel like you have a traditional push-pull. Tuning of this steering wheel feels really precise. It has a little bit of give, but it doesn't feel overbearing. It, you wouldn't think that you're driving something that's not directly connected, connected mechanically to the outboard. Of course, you got the throttle, and over here you have a display screen, and this is all touch screen. It's got all the diagnostics from run times, speeds, tilt trim. It's all plug and play, and it's all developed in-house from e-propulsion. One setup, put into the boat, you're ready to roll. You're not using a lot of different parts from different companies to make this setup work, which is what I like to see. What do you think, Captain? Oh, I love this. It's a lot of fun. No, the steering's kind of perfect. It's it doesn't feel like a knob that is too easy to turn. It's got enough resistance, but it doesn't. It also doesn't turn so quickly that it's uh, you know squirrely. It's it's kind of exactly what you want. Somebody spent a lot of time figuring that out. I think. We all enjoyed seeing and testing out the X40 on the pontoon, and I'm super grateful to have been a part of this pre-launch demo. As for the X40, it does what it's supposed to. It propels the boat efficiently, effectively, quietly, and with style and functionality. A complete plug-and-play system backed by years of development from one of the top electric outboard manufacturers in the world. It's what I expected and I've been waiting for from ePropulsion. Electric outboards tend to get some hate from people for varying reasons, but I'd invite any of them on this exact setup and I think it would change their mind. The ability to cruise and glide across the water surface with absolutely no outboard sound, just the noise of the water is quite a refreshing experience. The ability to have a conversation without yelling at each other on the boat, it's pretty cool. It's not just an electric outboard, it's definitely an experience. I'm here with Danny, the co-founder and CEO of ePropulsion Electric Outboards. I'm excited to be on this boat outfitted with the new ePropulsion X40. Danny, for people that aren't aware, tell us a little bit about the start of the company of ePropulsion, when you started and why you started it, what you wanted to bring to market. I'm Danny, co-founder and CEO of ePropulsion. So ePropulsion was started back in 2012 in Hong Kong. So by the time I, I was just graduated from university, I studied engineering at school and uh, I'm also a water sports enthusiastic. So I do a lot of surfing, windsurfing, diving, and uh, kayaking and sailing, so all kinds of water sports. And I, so I got quite familiar with the boats. And by that, that time, there's no single electric boat in Hong Kong. And uh, so I have a, I used to own a small dinghy and it was a 15 horsepower gas, gas outboard and it was uh, 10 years old. And it's always hard to start and I have to go and always, every time you use it, you got a lot of oils on your hand. Yeah, so I think it's quite bad experience. And yeah, I just, and at that time, electric car just getting started. Yeah. So I was thinking, why no one is doing electric boats? We should make this out, outboard into electric. So I got this idea and I talked to my supervisor, my, the professor at, at school. I tell him I got this idea. I want to start something making electric boats, electric outboards. And he think, uh, yeah, yeah, that might be a good idea. Why don't you try that? So I started a company together with my other three college mates. Yeah. And by the time we are four people working together to create something by our own. And now we are world leading supplier of electric motors and electric system. And we have about 360 employees globally. Yeah. I have used a lot of your outboards. So I'm familiar with the Spirit, the Navy series, the Evos. And behind us, we've got something pretty exciting. Is there a little bit of information you want to let everybody know about this new X series? Yeah. So today we're going to test at X40, our latest outboards. So X-Series is a new range of outboards. So people are f familiar with our spirits, our Navy from one to six kilowatts. And we see more and more demand from the market, from the customer looking for bigger outboards. And uh, we started this, uh, this development a few years ago, a, a, complete, a complete new range of product. And uh, last year we have the I-Series, which is an inboard and uh, the I series and the X series share the same platform. So 96 volts, SRE, SSA, new architecture, new features. 
and the outboard is just a brand new product we got to bring to the market and uh, yeah probably i can explain a little bit about the features it's a 40 kilowatt outboard good for this kind of pontoon boat bus boat also heavier bigger boat it can even push boat maybe 20 tons so very very good very high efficiency uh integrated steering system electric steering system so you don't need extra hydraulic steering system to be installed later yeah where do you see now that we see what you have and what you've done where do you see e-propulsion going in the future yeah so e-propulsion is dedicated to marine propulsion system so we are 100 percent marine and we see i think the important thing is to develop something develop products that meet the meet customers requirements and we see more and more people getting into electric boating and all beginning was with small dinghies small fishing boats and small sailboats now we see bigger and bigger boats a lot of customers come to us hey i have a this kind of maybe 40 foot or bigger boat i want them to be electric as well and uh, we think it's important to develop something that step by step with because you know the motor technology the battery technology keep advancing and we want to have this kind of latest technology to be used in also for the marine industry so that we can have the best product to meet the customer requirements and we have not as we have the outboard inboard and with the inboard we actually have done some project with much bigger boats say 100 200 passenger big boats wow yeah and we see this kind of projects coming coming out quite a lot and yeah. i think and more and more global users in the states and also in europe more and more people are discussing about electric propulsion system also the boat builders they are looking for this kind of system and we are quite looking forward to that i think we need to work together in the industry to push for better greener boating solutions yes and there's a lot of benefits to electric guys they're very quiet this motor's got a lot of torque. It threw me back, and you heard it from the man himself. Who knows, in the future, we might even see a 300 horsepower on a bass boat one day. I know I'd love to see it. Thanks for your time, Danny, and Thank I greatly you, appreciate you guys having us down here to check out the new e-Propulsion X40.